Here's something AP history students just love to forget or love to ignore, either to frustrate their teachers, which I can understand, or to sabotage themselves on the AP exam, and that's to not quote the documents. For the SAQ and DBQ, as a teacher, you might have told your students that 10 or 20, 30 times this school year, but it's not enough. You're going to need to tell them to not quote the documents about four or 500 more times in the five weeks we have left before the exam because you can never earn a point by quoting, but you could scoop up a point you would have otherwise missed just by describing that quote, summing up that quote. The AP reader will just skip whatever is quoted and then read on for your answer. But if you're describing it and explaining it, if it's your words, that's how you get the points. So don't quote, sum it up instead.